What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys, and I hope everybody's having an awesome evening. Uh, just a real quick news update. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, uh, DLC 2. Uh, the, the patch 1.40 is available now, so you can go and download that now if you haven't already. And basically what it does is, like we speculated, it did add some stuff for Cards Warrior, some sleeves, uh, some game boards also activated the microtransaction to purchase the coins and it also put in the the background information stuff for dlc2 now i did check the game and there aren't any new soul emblems there but we do we are going to get three new sub quests it did say three new sub quests also um if you don't want to be spoiled because i am going to tell you something about the dlc then click away now okay and giving those people time to click away guys if you can do your boy a solid and subscribe to the channel click that subscribe button turn on that bell icon i am going to be doing a live stream of this on the playstation 5 guys the game looks amazing on the playstation 5 i don't know how it looks better it just looks better the colors pop more and the load times are non -ex well they they exist they're just like cut in half but okay so for those of you who stayed there's a new level cap. The new level cap is 300. Okay. New level cap is 300. But the best thing about it is, yes, we are going to get upgraded combos. Now, we did see something in the trailer that looks like melee clash battles. But I don't know if that's just a part of the fight with Goku and Frieza. We'll see that when the DLC comes out. But you are able to actually train with Whis. Now, I didn't see what rewards you would get in doing that. But you are going to be able to actually train with Whis. That was a question that I had. Now, the Super Saiyan Blue transformation, um, you get that from training with Whis. And it is a cutscene. Now, another thing is the Super Saiyan Blue transformation, when you max it out, it goes up to plus 250% power up. However, it comes with a special feature that gives you a plus 50% extension to your surge mechanic but it gets better guys there is a skill on your skill tree called godly purge that when you start it out it gives you another plus 50 percent extension to your surge mode and guess what happens when you max it out guys you get a plus 200 percent to your surge mode so when you're in super saiyan blue or even in base because god purchased what it does you don't have to be in super saiyan blue for this but if you're in Super Saiyan Blue, you're going to get a plus 50%. On top of that, you're going to get a plus 200% if you max out Godly Purge. So you're looking at a plus 250% extension to your Surge Meter. And I know you're going to ask, well, what's the point of doing that? Because when you're in Surge Mode, your combos are different. You're able to, this is going to help with Horde Mode. Because you're going to be able, you know how in Surge Mode, you, you basically just teleport straight to the enemy and stuff like that. You're going to be able to do all those kinds of things. There's going to be some unique elements added to this Surge Mode. And that is really, really dope. And remember a video, long video ago, I told y'all that about surge mode it would be interesting if they increase it because i remember i told y'all about training with Whis and how each level of training with Whis <clears throat> we're getting different abilities and things like that well they've increased the surge mode and that is super dope now what that opens the door for later on is things like super saiyan blue kaioken uh if it ultra instinct makes it into the game in blue evolution then they can now use surge mode as a way to implement those things because surge mode is going to last long enough for you to get the benefit out of it but not so long that it's a permanent transformation but this is really really cool information guys i'm excited to get this dlc and test this out i haven't seen hordes mode yet um and the japan version is still not available but for some reason the new zealand i think if people are playing it on xbox and pc or people are playing it on pc from what i've heard but it's and i don't know why they did the same thing with dlc one the you would think the Japan version would get their DLC first, but it doesn't. Apparently, like, they go by New Zealand time or something to that effect. So, I don't know. Maybe it drops. If it drops in America, uh, normally stuff becomes available at, like, 11 o'clock p.m. Central Time, like, 9 o'clock Pacific. If that happens, I'll try to stream as much as I can, guys. I Y'all know I got to get up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. 
it is what it is you know what i'm saying but i will be streaming it on the playstation 5 so definitely subscribe to the channel um turn on all notifications so you don't miss any information guys i got a ton of content coming up for y'all i've already started doing godfall destiny 2 uh finished downloading assassin's creed valhalla like it's finna get legit on the channel man so that's all i got for right now y'all um we'll be doing more talking about the game going over stuff in the live stream until next time y'all thanks for watching peace